Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just kind of taking a break from putting up Slayer Legend videos to put up this random video. I don't know why I started thinking about this. I haven't thought about it in a while, but this is one of the best gamer moments I ever had. About 15 years ago, I was playing Neverwinter Nights, and inside of there is a video. They, you could build your own game with the stuff they had in there. But, I mean, you had to use the game to play it, pretty much. But yeah, you could use any of the building materials, any of the enemies, big giant dragons, any of the bosses. You could put them wherever you wanted and adjust their stats to whatever you wanted pretty much. And that uh, was pretty neat. So a lot of people, you could build your own stuff, play your own stuff, and then you could open up the public. A lot of people went nuts and built just awesome stuff. So um, I played the module. I played the game a bunch. But then the only module I played, I, it's the first, I've tried a couple maybe, but and then I landed on this one, it was the, the, the Lord of Terror Diablo campaign. I just call it Diablo 1 pretty much. But someone remade Diablo 1 and put way more stuff into it. It, it was awesome. And then it was in uh, Dungeons and Dragons style. So it was all kinds of depth. Um, lots of equipment, lots of gear, lots of character depth, lots of char character building potential and uh, subclasses, I think. It was really neat. And then I think these guys can make their own classes and stuff is what they were doing. Because there was stuff in the, in the module that was way different. Way different than the game. Just It was just kind of a different experience. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I went for a monk class build. And I was really, I uh, I had to restart like 15 times probably at least because I kept making calculated errors and I was really trying to perfect the stats on this monk. And uh, and that's one of the problems I have with these games. Like I can almost never beat these games because I constantly restart to try to make the best tune I can, you know. So, <laughs> so I restarted a whole bunch. Yeah, I never beat this module. And then this, this, that's pretty much what happened in this case. I never beat this module, but, uh, yeah, I was, uh, and then, then how the monk works, you can't wear armor, certain armors, unless you get uh, to a certain level and then maybe you can wear like leather or maybe like the highest armor you could wear is like a medium armor. You're never going to wear a plate mall or anything like that as a monk. So, but yeah, I, how I had my build set up was basically I couldn't wear any armor. None of the armor made any difference. The only thing I could wear that added, uh, added armor, I think was a cape maybe, and maybe some boots or something. So pretty much I, I had to restart like 15 times to, to rebuild my character. So, so here I am running around naked, like all the time. Uh, till like level seven or ten or something like that. So I'm running around naked. I have underwear on in the game, but I'm running around naked with a cape, you know. And sometimes people will come up to me and be like, "Whoa, dude, you obviously do not have any idea what you're doing, man." And they would like help me out. They like give me stuff, and you know. And at first, I kind of try to tell them, but after a while, it's just like I would just take their stuff and go sell it, you know, get some cash. <laughs> they they just didn't they didn't know they didn't know about the monk monk build, you know. It's like. I don't need armor, man. There's no point. I can't wear it. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I, I did a, I felt I did a pretty good job building up the monk, uh, as long as I played, but I found like the most awesome item playing this module. It was, uh, for the monk, you, you can equip gloves and, uh, I think they're just armor pretty much, but not these gloves. I found gloves that when you equip, they actually had attack and a special attack that was unlimited chain lightning. It was epic. I mean, as long as enemies were together, it just chained right through them and laid waste to them most of the time. And early enemies didn't didn't stand a chance. Um, yeah, and then uh, <clears throat> so this is the beginning town where you start pretty much. And that big building is where the church would be, where you go down in there. Um, the big building at the top, that would be the church, would have been the church. Uh, in Diablo 1, it was like 15 floors deep, I think, something like that. But this one was like 4 to 8. And then when you get done with that, uh, there's like a tunnel around here. I think it's on the left side of the screen, you can't see it. Um, and you go in this tunnel, it's a long tunnel with enemies just stacked. It's full, just filled up the tunnel. There's like 100 or 200 enemies in there, and they keep coming at you. 
kind of like push down a tube and you got to fight your way through them to get to the end. But I had these unlimited chain lightning gloves. It just a few hits and it knocked down this whole hallway of like hundreds of I, hundreds of guys. There's like 100, 200 guys in there. And I remember someone came in there once with me and they're like, whoa, dude, I need those gloves. Can I have them for my other character? And I was like, no, can't do it, bud. They're the only ones I have. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure where I, they dropped either. I went in and tried to install this and uh, set it up like three, four years ago, I think. And there is nobody playing, so it's pretty dead now, but <clears throat> it was really busy back then. Uh, yeah, those gloves were epic. Those gloves were one of the, the coolest things I ever found in a game. <clears throat> and another moment in this module was this guy came up to me out of nowhere, and he just gives me these items, and I was like, all right. So I'm looking at them, and I'm like, well, this stuff is all garbage, man. I'm just going to go sell it. So I went and sold a couple of them, and I, I kept a couple of them, I think. And then this guy, the same guy, or someone else comes running up to me. and is like, where's my items? And I'm like, what are you talking about, man? I have no idea what you're talking about. And then he's like, I just gave you my items to trade between characters. And I'm like, whoa, you didn't say anything about that, you know? And, <clears throat> and he's like, where's those items, man? Those are the best items in the game. And I was like, what? So I went and looked them up, and yeah, they were the best common items in the game, and I sold like two or three of them. <laughs> and I was trying to give them back, the other two to him back, but he had like four of his friends come and attack me, and they're saying all this nasty stuff in the comments to me, man, coming at me hard, like right away. So I was like, whatever, dude, I'm just going to keep these items, man. You guys are being jerks. And they're like, well, we're going to go tell the moderator, you know, and they went and told the moderator. The moderator didn't do anything, you know. I, I don't know if the moderator could look at all the comments and what was going on, but I think they kind of blew it when they came after me and lost their temper and stuff, but they were just common items. They were just common items. They weren't like magical or anything. So it wasn't that big a deal. But I mean, I didn't, I mean, it was a huge mistake. The guy should have told me he wanted to train between characters. And then when you're training items between characters and games, that's risky if you don't know who the person is. So just a kind of a bad situation. I feel, I feel sorry for him now. I'm sure he always remembers that moment, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I built up, uh, I built my monk apparently pretty good because another time a moderator, I don't know if it was the same moderator, he was like, wow, your build's really good, dude. You're doing a great job with your monk. And uh, he told me because my monk was so good, he's like, I'm going to give you some information, bro. And uh, he told me about this door that's just like a door. You know, it looks like it's, you can't open it. It doesn't give you any message. It just looks like a, a just a door in a game that you can't go in. You know, they're everywhere. Just art, you know. But he said, if your lock picking is high enough, that you can go in the door. And I was like, whoa, that's awesome, man. It's some cool insider information. But uh, yeah, I wasn't going to remake a character for lockpicking. So, <laughs> I mean, it was cool information, but it didn't really help me out. I had a monk, so. <laughs> uh, there was another time, too. Uh, uh, I can't really, I don't have a pointer. I can't point at the building, but in Diablo 1, I think there was a, ta there was a building um, kind of between... Uh, cane where you identify stuff and then the blacksmith to to the left between them uh in this game in my head that's kind of how i remember it when i look at this here this looks different than i remember but anyhow there's a tavern in the town the diablo town uh in this module and uh in the town it's not pvp but when you go in the tavern it's pvp which is kind of neat you could fight in the bar you know <laughs> so i was in there i don't know what i was in the in the tavern doing but right away this guy's like if you make one more move you step on that carpet you're dead and i didn't do anything i didn't even have time to think and this guy starts casting all these spells at me you know and i'm just standing there and nothing happens nothing happens to me so i'm like what the heck is going on here man you're like you came at me hard bro <laughs> and he was like whoa that is so amazing you're the first person ever to pass my checkpoints everyone dies and then after that he was he was a super bro every time i ran by him he's like what's up buddy <laughs> you know i like really got his respect at first he was coming right at me though you know trying to bully the heck out of me <laughs> so that was kind of a kind of a weird little experience but i mean i restarted my character a whole bunch to try to get get to that point um and then the worst part, the worst part absolutely about this game, though, was the lag. And it's the worst lag I ever experienced in my life. 
here's here's kind of like some stats and stuff for the monk, kind of what it looks like. Um, yeah, the leg was it was horrific. Apparently, from what I from what I gathered, it was uh, or from the information I found, it was because it just can't handle items laid on the ground. So people would get loot and then they drop it. And then too many people would drop items on the server and then it would lag. That's what I was told, I think, by moderator. And then that's what it had in some kind of description somewhere or something like that. But this lag was the worst lag, dude, that you've ever witnessed. Because you'd be playing for like five minutes, man. You go down a path, you fight some enemies, you find a chest, man, you find some items. You go fight some more enemies, and then out of nowhere, here comes the lag. Boom! Snaps you back like five minutes, dude. A couple minutes sometimes, you know. Um, sometimes it's just a little bit, but sometimes it's huge, you know, like five minutes. So maybe even longer than that. So you got to redo all that stuff, and you're not going to get the item drops that you got before. So it was, real, it was the most stressful lag I've ever experienced by far. It's just a nightmare. <laughs> I, if people, surely if people play that, they definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so that was like one of the coolest gamer moments I can remember. It was those gloves, man. The infinite chain lightning gloves was, was just a blast. And, and I don't really play those games type of games anymore. Uh, I, I'm on mobile a lot. Uh, but I really like playing those games where you got to, there's a lot of depth in the character and where you add to strength. D&D, &D, I guess, Dungeons and Dragons, um, that kind of play style. I really like uh, tinkering with that stuff. So, but yeah, I never, I rarely get a chance to beat those games because I just, I configure, I'm reconfiguring my character so much that I just get burned out and it gets boring. So yeah, that's just a little random video. So I'll probably put another one up too. Uh, Borderlands. I got another Borderlands moment. That was a really good gamer moment for Borderlands. That's pretty cool. So I'll probably put that video up sometime soon. All right. Thanks, guys.